Welcome to episode 7 in Surviving Minecraft. It's been a couple days since the last episode. And we've got some more potatoes now. We've got some more experience levels. So let's start this, this episode off with a nice enchantment on this fresh diamond pickaxe. This should be fun. Should get a level 30. Let's see if we can get something cool like fortune or silk touch or I don't know. Something fun like that. So, oh, there we go. 1.5 is around the corner for Minecraft. Um, I'm sure we all know that by now. Oh, painful. Oh, okay. 1.5 is around the corner, and I'm excited. Very excited. As soon as it comes, like the next episode that I do after 1.5 comes out, we're going to be doing a uh, trip, the first trip actually to the nether. So we can get some glowstone and some of that tasty nether quartz. Okay, so let's do on this enchant the third one. One, two, three. Three. What's it going to be? Oh, efficiency four. Well, efficiency four is pretty good. It's super fast. And that's going to come in handy for this episode because... Oh, there's a spider. Where is that spider? We'll have to go and find him one day. Because in this episode, we're going to be doing some preparation work for the next episode. This episode, or actually, sorry, the next episode is when we'll finally tackle building our main house. And I've been doing some, uh, like some practice building, like just on a test world. I've got a pretty cool, pretty kicking uh, house design that we're going to use for this for this Let's Play. I'll go into that later. But enough of that. What we have to do in this episode is, since we don't have sheep, and the house that I'm going to build in s consists mostly of spruce wood and uh, wool, we need to farm a bunch of spider string so we can make some wool best way to do that, of course, is a cave spider spawner. So, I've been down in the mines, down in the grid mine, and I found a nice abandoned mine shaft that has a few different cave spider options. Um, one is right here. The other, let's see if we can see it from here. The other one I marked with a little beacon way over there. You can barely see it. Right there. And my house is right there. So I could, you know, just make like a cool drop and then walk into it right there. But I'm not going to do that for this one because what I want to do is eventually make a bunch of different buildings. Um, shops per se and oh. it'd be really cool you know we have like a let's imagine a street going along here a road a little bit street and right here would be the cave spider shop so we could build a house or not a house a shop for the cave spiders oh. so I think that's gonna be what we're gonna are gonna be what we end up doing so, let me sleep off this night, I'll gather up some supplies, and I'll meet you down at the cave spider spawner. Okay guys, heading back down now, we should have everything that I need to construct the um, cave spider spawner set up. What we're going to, oh boy, uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is I've already marked out the area 
Oh boy. Okay, I've already marked out the area. And for those of you that don't know, cave spider spawners um, are they have an eight block radius or diameter that they can spawn in. And they're gonna so the one that they're in is gonna be offset from the eight by eight. And the way that you can tell which side to expand on is the side, the corner that X and Z both are going negative. So you can see that X and Z are going negative more in this direction. So we expand it one more going this way. Like so. And since we're going to be standing on the other side over there, what I did was I expanded it one more on this side for symmetry reasons, just to make it look pretty. Okay. Now, what we can do is start actually shaping the room. And what we need is to cover the space above the spawner by one, uh, with a block so that spawner, spiders won't spawn on top of the spawner and just sit there. And we also need to have a, a clearance of two above the spawner and then I believe one or two below the spawner. So I'm going to dig this out a little bit more and meet back up with you in a minute. Okay, so now we have the actual area dug out and you can kind of see the style I'm going for. Kind of a medieval, I don't know, dungeon set up with spruce logs and cobblestone. This is kind of going to be a recurring theme in my uh, in my building in this world just because of the... I really like that style. It's really cool to me. So, the next part, once we've got our area all mapped out, is to one, light up the area with torches, and two, to um, set up the water. Now, cave spiders behave rather oddly. You know, they'll uh, they'll track you through any block, and uh, they will climb walls like they're going out of style. So, what we have to do? Let me see if I can get a. I'll just have to break one of these. What we have to do is set up the water streams so that um, they push the spiders out. So we'll do one there, one there, and then we can just reuse these source blocks. Like so. Okay. Notice how the water ends right at the end here. Does not go over the edge. That is critical. Okay. So now, what we can do is we'll set up a little drop, you know, like a, maybe a two block drop to uh, catch them with. And then we can shuttle them off to our killing mechanism. So let me set that up real quick and I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay guys, quick update. Um, you can see we've made the little trench that we're going to catch them in. So the spiders are going to fall down right here. And we're going to obviously wall this in. But the spiders are going to fall down here and get pushed to the middle here in this water stream. We make this three wide to uh, make it better for transporting the mobs. If it's one wide, um, it doesn't work quite as well just because it's a little bit harder for them to get through. And if it's too wide, it would be, uh, you know, off-center. So for symmetry, we'll make it three wide. You can see that the water streams are coming from the edges, pushing to the middle. And they kind of stop right here. So what that means is that we're going to have to actually drop the level down one to get the water streams going a little bit farther. So let me do that real quick, and I'll catch back with you in a second. Okay, guys. So I've done a lot of work now. Got it looking pretty good. Just about ready to call it a wrap. Um, oh, not that. So there's a few different parts to this um, that we need to talk about. So I can explain. 
And let me just close this up real quick so everybody can see. So I want to keep it looking nice and clean. Okay. Now, you can see that there's the trench like we had before. Spiders go into there. Now what we're going to do is behind here we have three um, signs that will stop the water. And we're going to actually bring the water down here, like so. Oop, not like that. Forgot to block that one off. Like so. And so we can see how the water behaves there. Just flows right into the middle. Now. How's it working? There we go. Is that right? I'm trying to get the water to look just perfect. Okay, well, I think that's looking good. Yeah. So, spiders will go under here. They won't go past the signs, or the water won't go past the signs, but the spiders will. They'll fall down into our killing mechanism. And right now I'm using uh, just a crushing method. Got this from Doc M. So there's the few different parts. Right here is a shutoff mechanism. It's tied to a lever upstairs. Goes to three pistons right here that just push a block, or three blocks out and keep the spiders from falling down. So it's a shutoff mechanism. Down here, where we actually see those pistons extended right now, the spiders will fall here when the uh, mechanism is in place. They will not fall below these iron bars, and we can kill them from here. Now, to knock them down to s or make them one-hit kills, we can use this pressure plate to crush them until they die or until they get close to death. The wiring for that is really simple. It's just back here. Pressure plate on top of that block sends power into here, sends power through these repeaters into here which deactivates these torches which activates these torches and activates these pistons. Now when we've killed we the spiders, get the items just fine, but XP will not actually fall b between these stairs and these iron bars. So, what we have to do, let's just close this up real quick, is, uh oh, oh yeah, I broke something, right here. There we go. We have to push the blocks out of the way, the bars. So now we can get the XP. And then when we're done, just push it back. So the wiring for that is really easy. Just button, two wires, over and a sticky piston. Over here, regular piston, and three redstone wire. Not a lot going on. So, let's just finish this up real quick. Close all this up so nobody will know. Put upside down half slabs there to close that up. And voila. Beautiful. Now, let me go back upstairs because we got to glass everything up. And Yes, I know that the best way to do this is not with glass, but uh, let's see how we're going to do this. The best way to do this is not actually with glass, because it, I think it uh, cuts down on the spawning rates, but I'm not looking for picture perfect here. I want, fun or I want uh, looks over function on this particular one. So let me glass all this up and take out these torches. And I'll get back with you in just a second. And there we go. 
see them trying to get me. I think they should eventually go down. Go down, guys. Hmm. Looks like they're getting stuck, maybe. So, let's see. Maybe I have some... Maybe something's not quite right. Maybe it's because, maybe if I stand back here. No, they're still getting stuck, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, there goes one. And two. Okay, so they're kind of going. Let me... So I've got, let's see, two levels of glass right there. That might be too much. Let me take out that one other glass and I'll, uh, I'll do some more testing. Okay, round two. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So let's open it up and we will see how we end up down here. Okay. Hey guys, come downstairs. Hmm. Okay. Problem number two. I'll check it out. Okay guys, I found the problem. I actually put the signs too, one block too low. So you see how there's water flowing right here? That's preventing the spiders from falling down. So I'm going to move those up one block real quick and we'll do some more testing. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get a couple spiders to spawn. Any minute now. There we go. There's a batch. Okay, spiders go down. Excellent. One more. Perfect. Okay, now let's see if they made it all the way down. Come on, fellas. Come on down. Okay, there's one. Why do they keep climbing? Good grief. Hmm. Well, this could be a bit difficult. Okay, let me do some more testing. Okay guys, so I think I figured it out. The basic problem was I just needed to close off the the uh, farm from upstairs because when I'm upstairs they can't see me and so they will come down to the bottom. But when I'm down here they try and get to me so they're climbing and stuff. So if I just close off the, the machine then uh, they will stay down here and I can crush them real quick and kill them get all the XP and uh, whatnot and items so there we go and if anything gets stuck any experience or anything we can just go right here and get it and close it back up so I'm gonna stand here for a little bit and collect some more spiders Plus, I'm going to add a ladder. I need a ladder. Okay. Oh, I got to wall that in, too. Okay. Here we go.
Okay guys, so I've been standing here for a while and I've collected quite a few pieces of string which I've been turning into wool. So let's say 30 pieces of wool times a 4 string, about 120 string. So yeah, this is a pretty good design and like I said this goes, I believe, either Doc M or Etho were the creators of this and if I'm mistaken in that then I apologize. But credit to whoever credit is due, and I love it. This is great. You can see I'm already back at level 30, which means I can go enchant another pick, and this is awesome. So, I think I'm going to cut this episode off um, right about now. It's been a little bit shorter this time, but I think we got a lot done. Um, let me know that what you guys think about this design with the the spruce logs and the cobblestone. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. I've uh, definitely, definitely got some plans to use this stuff a lot. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.